Traditional centre parties have failed to capture the youth vote. Instead, it's been left to the far left or the far right. So what does that say about the youth of this country? Joining me now is Latifa Alquir, the director of the Bondi Blog Media, a community media focusing on working class and immigrant neighbourhoods, not just in Paris but across the country. Uh, Latifa, thanks for coming in. Are you surprised by the results? Um, I'm a little bit surprised by the... Um as usual, the rates of the far right, uh, because it includes uh, Marine Le Pen, but also Eric Zemmour, and we are around uh, 30% for these two candidates, which is very rearing, and it's always surprising. Uh, and also, it's... Um, um, a deception for for them, but uh, the score, the the, the results for Jean Luc Mélenchon are uh, a little bit a surprise too, because a lot of people voted uh, for him um, much more than what happened in 2017. Let's first of all talk about the far right, and the, and then we'll talk about the far left. Now, there's been a massive surge in the youth vote for the far right that shows basically a very deeply polarised society because, on the other hand, you've also, as you've pointed out, got a surge um, on the far left. Uh, and, and it's even more surprising given the racist statements made by uh, the candidates. Uh, yeah, it was a very uh, um, difficult campaign because of that and of the racial statements uh, during all the previous uh, previous months and weeks. Um, and uh, we have yet, it's, it's like when we see that we have like two youths in France. Uh, one uh, who voted a lot for Marine Le Pen, and I think the uh, between people between 18 and 34, we have merely 45% uh, of people who voted for for her, uh, which means something. Um, and uh, and that's uh, yeah, that's I think that's important to notice. Do you despair for the country's future as a result of that statistic? Uh, last night, yes, completely. Uh, uh, this morning, uh, I think it's important to see also uh, all this uh, uh, youth who voted for uh, Jean-Luc Jean Mélenchon and for uh, uh, progressive ideas and against uh, against the far right. Uh, this youth exists, this youth uh, uh, votes and uh, is very uh, ro worried by, by, by the future. Uh, so I think it's not, uh, yeah, it's not completely negative. Now, the odds are, according to opinion polls, that the President Macron could actually win the second round of voting, but nobody's ruling out a Marine Le Pen win either. What would that mean for communities that you report on? Um... I, um, Emmanuel Macron did a campaign who is, uh, with the themes who are very on the right. Uh, uh, with uh, the example of the retirement age, uh, for instance, uh, and not considering a lot of people who uh, are the poorest of the country, not considering that these people were on the front line during the health crisis. Uh, pro no nothing has been done a lot for, for, these, for these people, so it's very worrying for them, in fact, when whatever happens what was going to happen on the on the 24th of April so i yeah i think for these people uh, it's worrying you say it's worrying but strategically how can your communities move forward how could they make sure that the center of pol you know, political spectrum is actually listening to what they're saying and actually will do something about it uh, it's yes it's a quite difficult question because um, if we take uh, the example by the, for example of the media uh, we uh, saw a lot of uh, as we said far right statements in the media during the the campaign and not uh, a lot of uh, thing towards uh, uh, the poverty uh, towards how it's difficult today for th a lot of people of the population to 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 earn money to live just decently, uh, and I think that um, um, if these teams are more uh, token, if these teams are more in the in the in the media, uh, in the and in the national debate, it will change things. Okay, Latifa Alquia, thank you so much for coming in. This is Latifa Alquia, who's from the Bondi Block, a very much uh, recognised uh, media group these days here much. in France.